Good afternoon. Hello everybody. Welcome to our Friday afternoon live. It's lovely to be here again. Do let me know if you're there, if you're watching. Say hello. I'm just going to refresh my page so I can see if I'm in shot. You are. I am. Thank you very much. Ames is in charge again this week. How have you all been this week? Had a good week? Have you been sewing? What have you been making this week? We have been, what have we been doing? We've had um, tutorials this week and uh, a couple of sew-alongs, so it's been great. Really good week actually, catching up with lots of people. The sew-alongs have been really lovely for us actually, haven't they, Ames? We've been able to mm -hmm. really um, uh, keep in touch with people and uh, it's like having you all here in the same room with me. A bit like this on the Friday actually, having a quick chat and a catch up. So yeah, do say hello if you're, if you're watching, let me know where you are and uh, what you've been up to this week. I've noticed um, a few people have been um, busy sewing this week. Did you see on with her sew? It's Justine's corset. Justine's been making corsets this week. Oh, Ruth's here on Instagram. She says she's just made another cardi whilst watching the replay. Oh, well done, Ruth. That's yeah. great. Ruth was on our sew along this week, making cardi. Let's just see the oh, Emma's here me. as well on Instagram. Hi, hi Emma. Emma. Yeah, let's see a picture of Emma's on with her sew. Oh, hi, Karen. Karen's here on Facebook. And, and so Sandrine. Sandrine. Oh, Sandrine's joining us on Wednesday evenings, making the denim skirt. <coughs> Bit tricky, a bit trickier that one, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, oh, you're right, Ames. Yeah. <laughs> Swallowed my water down the wrong way. <laughs> your turn to chat this week after yeah. doing it last week. Yeah, so um, yes, yeah, so Andreen's helped doing the denim skirt, which is a that's a challenge doing a denim skirt, but it's great. We were busy doing our top stitching and unpicking and redoing our top stitching, <laughs> but they're really coming together on the denim skirt. So lovely to see Sandrine. I'm quite far behind on my denim lining. skirt. Yeah. Oh yes, you are a bit. Aren't you? But you've done lovely back pockets actually, and you'll show you her back pockets next week. For her skirt really nice or Sandrine's while what doing the ironing well That's perfect good. ironing watching yes it is it is hi Helen hi Good Helen to see you looking How... forward to seeing you at sew along soon is it next yeah, week Helen's jacket, joining us week think, after? Yeah, the week after yeah Hi Carol hi Carol trying to sew and watch and at the same watch. time well <laughs> that is the ultimate multitasker over there oh look Helen uh, Suzanne's um, saying hello in big capitals <laughs> can't find the comments on the right hand side yet oh okay anyway we can see you hello Suzanne how are you how are things in Guernsey today it's really rainy and horrible here today we've got all the blinds shut so Emma is trying to work out Trello ah yeah you love Trello actually Emma I'm I found Trello one of the easiest this is Trello is a, a program that you an app you can get for your phone for um, uh, storing all your blogging, all your patterns and your fabric stash. And I found it really easy. Helen is finishing off a jumper sleeve. Oh, very is that good. knitting, Helen? Knitting, yeah. Uh, hi, Maggie. Maggie. Watch on catch up. Oh. Has to go and get the horses in. Oh yeah, of course, before it gets dark, Maggie. <laughs> hi, Jo. Hi, Jo. She says, oh, it's the best part of her week, apart from oh. the sew along. <laughs> That's good. We look Thank forward you, to these too. Yeah, we do. It's such good fun, isn't it? And Jo was with us with, on the cardigan. Did, and your cardigan looks fantastic, Jo. Well done. Jo made a cardigan Beautiful. Uh, from the Higgs and Higgs cable knit. And one, good Jo's. cable placement on your front yes, band. It looks excellent. Really good. Hi, Susan. How are you? What are you doing? Making a biggies top with uh, speckled sweatshirt fabric. Ah, hi, Susan. And rearranging your sewing oh, room. Lovely. That's good. That's what we need to do. I think we do. we've been doing so many projects that you just move straight on to the next one and don't really tidy up in between. As you saw from our floor last week. <laughs> it's tidier this it week. Yeah, we tidy this week. Oh no. Oh no, Karen. Karen. Coat. Oh no. Coat's in the bin. That's no good. Oh, we'll have to do our other half bar one to wine, Karen. Have a chat about that. Suzanne's got a beautiful day in Guernsey oh, today. Lovely. Need a lovely walk and. Cardigan's finished, trying to sort out an account with Simply Fabrics. Yeah, oh, me too, I want to go on Simply yes, Fabrics, Yes, I did have a Suzanne. quick look after um, Emma showed us the lovely linen she got from, on the cardigan sew along. Emma had a, a fabric delivery in the middle of the sew along, so we had to, of course, see what it was. And it was some lovely linen from Simply Fabrics. Really pretty, I did go and have a quick look. I'm struggling with the layout on Facebook, how do I change it, please? Oh, I don't know. Are you on your laptop or on your phone, Suzanne? Well, I, don't, I don't know actually. I'm or, not sure. Because it does depend whether you're watching it on through the app or on a laptop. 
Uh, Susan had to, had to sort of saying, we're in order to get through the door. Well, quite right. Well, that is an issue, especially as we know. I know you like your Linton, <laughs> Susan. So I bet you've got a bit of a hoard of Linton. Oh, is it lovely and sunny down there, Helen? Helen lives down the south. It the is back. actually, it has turned quite nice now, actually. Oh. I just popped my head out the door. Well, laptop. Suzanne, the laptop. I find it quite easy on the laptop. Have you tried refreshing your page, Suzanne? That's what I always have to do. As soon as we, look, as soon as we go live... I have to refresh the page um, to get it all in the Popping right up. order. Yeah, and also I have mine. Um, <laughs> I have mine on one hundred and seventy-five zoomed in, so I can read the comments without insulation. Switching. Fabric is yes. perfect insulation, Susan. Yeah, very good. And in fact, ours is getting a bit drafty. We might yeah. need to. We need to fill some gaps. We need to fill some gaps. Yeah. yeah. I always remember um, Mr. Rosenberg at the show. Do you know Rosen, Mr. Ro uh, Jeff Rosenberg? Uh, he always says that. I don't want to sell you fabric just to make loft insulation. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I've got some Rosenberg fabric that's been working as insulation for about five years. Yes. Thank you very much. Is that that lovely cashmere? It is my lovely cashmere yeah, that I need cashmere. to make my coat from. Oh, I might yes. start it next week. <gasps> That'd be great. I'd bring it up here to cut it out. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I've got enough, though. Maybe I'd have to have a sewing day here on Tuesday. So I think we home. should, yeah. have a, a sewing at home day on Tuesday. I'm going to need a big table for that. Yes. Yeah, we didn't, I didn't make anything new this week because we did the sew along to the cardigan uh, and I've been working on my denim skirt in the evening so I didn't actually make anything new this week. Suzanne said it didn't oh. work. That's very strange. Oh no. Maybe you need to log out and log back in again. Jill, hi one. Jill. She says it's very sunny in Emsworth at the moment. Oh. Oh, hi Jilly as hi, well. Hi Jilly. How's things with you, Jilly? <laughs> oh, the cocktail trolley in shops. <laughs> I know, I realise that. It's usually out of shop. It but is, it's just it? to entice you. We're going to play a guessing game. Yeah. What's going to be the cocktail today? Well, I'd just leave it there. Uh, Susan's got her fabric for her meal address. Oh, stretch, stretch, tensile twill. That'd be lovely, mm. Susan. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Pushing oh, a broken no. down car in the village on my way back from the post box. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. That That's was very really good. I've got your order, Claire, so I'll send that out. After so long, we're going to do the orders, so I'll sort that out. Afternoon, Janet. Hi, Janet. How are you? Janet's just booked onto the pressing so long, actually. So, um... If you're on Instagram wondering where who we're saying hello to, these are people on Facebook, so, yeah, you, can't, yes. so you can't see each other's comments. Yes, because we're on the, we're live on Facebook and Instagram again today. Amy's got all that tech sorted out. Oh, yeah. We've got cables everywhere. It's all very, very smart in here today. Jilly has a leaking roof. Oh, no. Oh, the dramas. Oh, gosh, Suzanne had a leaking roof last week. In the sewing room. In the sewing room. It was really drastic. <laughs> the worst place to have a leaking roof. <gasps> Karen. Oh, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Google it? I zoomed in and Googled zoomed it. Zoomed in to see what was on the trolley. Karen's correct. <laughs> we're going boozy, boozy, boozy we today. Certainly are. We certainly are. But we're going to talk sewing first. Yeah, sewing first. Sewing yeah. first. <laughs> Hi, Sally. We just been for walk. Hi, oh, it's lovely, lovely and sunny down there. So we just stay indoors all the time, keep missing the sunshine. But well, we have these big bright lights, so it seems like it's sunny indoors. Yeah, it's lovely. Sunny. All the blinds are closed to yeah. make sure the lighting's consistent. So we've no idea. Oh, Jess says Negroni's her favourite. Oh, good. It's your nan's favourite as well. It is. Yeah, so it's also I my favourite. Watching. Hi, Sue. How are you? Hi, Sue. How did you get with your linen dress? Did you cut that out last time I spoke to you? And Janet is cutting out a wallet pattern. For a sew along starting at four o'clock. We better well, we, sew along. We better be on time. We be on wallet. time this week. <laughs> We're going to be on time. You can just see gin and campari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we do like a nice cocktail. Amy's been upping upping her cocktail supplies. It looks very pretty over there. I have to say. Yeah, we've gone all out now. Oh, hi, Justin. Hi, Corset Justin. Central. <laughs> Are you making some more? Oh yes, if you only tell sewers, Justin's been, Justin came to my corset class a couple of years ago, made a fantastic corset, and has now made an even better corset at home. And you can see pictures of that on uh, Justin's Instagram or on the Midhurst Sewers page. It's fantastic, Justin. Well done. Um, it's got me all inspired to make another corset. Actually, I haven't made one for a little while. Oh, Tom Hayward is saying hello from the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Hi, Tom. That's your summer down there, isn't it? So I bet you're, you're not watching from the beach or something. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see, hear from you, Tom. Oh, Suzanne's fixed the issue. Hooray! She needs a cocktail. And Sue <laughs> has do? Sue has not done any more getting busy with designs now. Oh, of course. So, yes, um, so Sue works down at uh, uh, Goodwood, um, for the Goodwood Actors Guild. And it looks like if, if Sue's busy doing some designs, that means there must be some planned events this year. So that's exciting. I want to know what Suzanne did to fix the issue. I'm always interested in that with the 
tech yeah. things. What did you do? Because then somebody else asked, well, go, Suzanne knows. <coughs> Suzanne yeah. knows. So did you finish your cardigan, Suzanne? Suzanne's on the, on the, the cocktail, the cardigan, not the cocktail. It's all gone cocktails already. <laughs> it's just all about me this week. It is all about Ames. <laughs> um, yeah, we had the lovely, the, the lovely cardigan. And we did the Jennifer Lauren cardigan, the Juniper cardigan, which is the one that's behind me. Um, I'm not going to move it because it's not quite finished. Um, <laughs> but it has a lovely saddle-shaped shoulder. It's a really nice seat. So they're quite tricky, which is why it's good to do it as a class or a solo long. Um, oh, Helen says she loves the Bay of Islands. Oh, needs to go, go back. Helen, that's what, Helen loves the Bay of Islands, Tom. I've never Facebook. been to New Zealand. I'd love to go to New Zealand. I've got a lot of friends in New Zealand. Yeah, we'll have to do a visit. Maybe we'll do a sewing retreat there one day. Oh, maybe. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, um, Karen's ordered the Wool Viscos for the Tabiki sweater. Oh, nice. That'd be lovely. And Suzanne's just finished her cardigan. Oh, you're going to post that on Midhouse She said she was Suzanne. clicking everything and it finally worked. Oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> just turn it off and on again. That's always my, <laughs> my advice. <laughs> So we've also, I've um, also been putting some more solos on the website. You may have noticed those. Uh, what other news have I got for you? Oh, did you see the article in The Guardian this week? Men who sew. Well, and, um, there's no news for us. We know that men sew. But of course, George Clooney is now sewing. And The Whoa. Guardian picked up on that. So, He's so, more than welcome to come to yeah, a sewing I, class any time. Shall we invite him down here to the sewing room? Absolutely. He's been currently mending his children's clothes and his wife's dresses. And Give up George Clooney. Um, but we know we know men. There's lovely Simon comes here, and we know there's lots of men who do the sewing bee each year. And um, Jamie, the Murdevan sewing, fantastic tailor. So yeah, lots of men that sew. It's not a big surprise to us. Oh look, we've now started a whole New Zealand conversation now, Tom. Yeah, so Emma says there's Zealand. lots of wool. Yeah, well we've all been talking. There's a really good. Actually, we could get Tom to get all the merino wool fabric for us, couldn't we? From the fabric I'll store. Oh, the fabric store. I'll send it over. Fantastic fabric shop in New Zealand, Tom. That we've all been. Coveting their lovely merino wool fabric. Oh, Suzanne says it's her favourite place in the world. Yeah, Maggie goes there. Maggie, who has just disappeared to go and get the horses, and she goes there for four months every winter normally. So she's missing that this year. Oh, Alice is here on Instagram. Hi, Al. Hi, Alice. Alice has had loads of snow out in New York. So that's her daughter, Alice, that's for anyone my, that doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, that's my daughter, Alice. <laughs> Not my daughter. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> my sister. Amy's sister. Uh, yes, I, I, Alice lives out in New York, and she's. Uh, they've had. Yeah, 18 inches of snow in a day out there and uh, massive snowman massive snowman and sledging and all sorts of things so yeah well gel yes we've never had that much snow so that's exciting um so yeah apart from reading the guardian this week about i know i only read the bit about george clooney i didn't know you read the guardian no i just read the bit about george clooney ah. sewing <laughs> of course the other thing uh, which i meant to mention last week actually is a, an event that's happening next week which is called world frock tales um, and it's a it's an online event, and you can sign up to it through um, worldfrocktails.com. And there are online events every day. It's thirty five dollars for your ticket, and you do get a goodie bag with that. And then there's lots of people doing talks and sew alongs and all sorts of things. Some are live, some are recorded, but it looks really good. I'm quite in, I'm, I'm going to get a ticket. I'm, actually, I'm quite interested in the whole tech side of it. <laughs> now we're in top tech to see how it all works. But yeah, if you want to have a look, go to worldfrocktails.com. Uh, and have a look at see all the things that are happening. They've got some really good speakers. They've got people from True Buyers, French Navy now, pa um, French Navy patterns, um, all sorts of different pattern companies and fabric people. Uh, I think um, Elisa Lex from uh, By Hand London, she's doing a talk. I think um, you said uh, True Bias was doing one. Oh yeah, True Bias. I do it. Lady from True Bias, Cashmerette, the lady, the lady behind Cashmerette patterns, is also doing a talk. So. Have a look, you can see the schedule and all the things that are planned, all the speakers on their website, and then if you fancy it, just sign up. Alice says there's more snow today in New York. Oh, They've had more today. Just stay indoors and look at it through the window, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you snowed in, Al? I expect you are. That's okay, you can just work from home. So yeah, have a look at World Frock Tales um, and uh, see if you fancy doing their stuff every day. So I might sign up and have a little look, see what's going on. See if there's any excuse to dress up one day, hopefully. What other news have I got for you? I have news that the Simflex gauges are now back in stock. <laughs> <laughs> that is big news. This, this is big news. For any of you that don't know, this is something that as soon as we get it in, it tends to sell out. Um, so this is a Simflex gauge, and it's the gauge, the expanding gauge that you use to measure your spacing for your buttonholes. Um, and it's uh, the website is um, worldfrocktails.com, Suzanne. Worldfrocktails.com. Um, Amy might put a link up if she can find it, or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put just a link up it in later. The yeah. 
and then you can have a look and see. But don't do it on Wednesday because we've got a sew along. <laughs> okay, so the Simplex the back in stock for anyone that's been waiting for those to come back in. Anyone that had them on back order, I have sent them. Oh, Nanny's here. Hi, Mum. Hi, Nan. Nice to see you. Did you hear that Amy's doing a Garoni today as a cocktail, Mum? It's your favourite. There you go. Worldcocktails.com. There you go. Have a look. It looks like fun. Looks like fun. So yeah, Simplex is back in stock for anyone. Anyone that pre-ordered them, I've sent them out already, but there are some more. Um, oh, Suzanne's posted the photos on the Midhurst Sewers page. Already. Fun. Multitasking. Multitasking on Facebook today. Oh, very good. <laughs> So I wanted to tell you a little bit about our sew alongs we've got coming up and some of you might have noticed uh, I put quite a few up on the website last week. So just so you know what's coming up, um, we've got obviously got the Fior skirt coming up this week. There's spaces on all of these apart from denim jacket might have one space. Anyway, the Fior skirt, which is the one I was wearing last week on the stand here, which is a wrap skirt with an asymmetric front, that's this week. Um, also we're doing this lovely dress here. Um, this is a Vogue pattern by Tom and Linda Platt. I thought that's a really lovely dress and some people have been asking me to do a workshop on this for quite a while so I thought we'll do a sew along. Hi Catherine. Yes, cocktails are copying us Sue. They are. Rude. They're having cocktail sessions as we well. We did it first. Yeah. Hi Catherine. <laughs> um, yeah, the Simplex. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd let people know otherwise it, it, sometimes it just has pre-order and people don't go to have another look about the Simplexes. But anyway, this is one we're doing over three evenings. This is going to be an evening class. So three evenings, we're going to make this lovely Tom and Linda Platt dress here. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some Friday morning technique classes. So uh, on Friday mornings between 10 and 12, there's going to be a few lot of sort of um, short classes. The first one is next Friday, and that's three types of pockets. So we're going to do inseam pockets, block pockets. Um, what's am I going to do? Patch pockets. That's right, we're going to do some different patch pockets. That's next week. Then the denim jacket class starts uh, the following Wednesday. We're going to use the style art pattern, which is this one here. Um, this is the uh, Stacy jean jacket, and I really liked it because it's a classic um, jacket, but it's a uh, jean jacket, but it's got um, a bit of shaping to it. And I did think we talked about this week, didn't we? So I put in some pockets in some. Yeah, I'm going to put pockets, pockets in mine. I yeah. actually just got my fabric should be arriving today. I've ordered a washed denim from cloth house that's going to be lovely yeah. i'm going to get some hopefully cotton. it's the right color i want to get the um cotton canvas from victoria down at bluesbury square for that so suzanne says nice she's one. so excited about the sew alongs and she's sorted all her fabric out too she just needs to some more to arrive and i need some i need to get some more actually uh janet's received her notice package oh <laughs> one. janet's thought that janet nearly threw away the uh interfacing <laughs> it was the um uh, Janet ordered the applique papers from last week, Stretch Fix and Bondaweb from last week. So <laughs> the wider one, the wider one is the Bondaweb. Sorry, I should put a label on them, Janet, shouldn't I? The wider one is the Bonda one, Bondaweb, the narrow one, the more shiny one. That's the Stretch Fix. So that's for the stretch fabrics. Oh, Suzanne says her threads have arrived today. Oh, good. I think Suzanne's getting a parcel every week from us at the moment. Yeah, every day. <laughs> Another one coming out today because I've got the binding. Um, so I'll send that out to you today, uh, Suzanne. So after that one, we've got the kimono jacket. I talked about this one last week. This is the one that um, looks very ornate on the pattern, but we do all this, these lines with top stitching. Um, so this is quite a nice kimono jacket we're gonna make. That's a two day class. And then on the, um, well then the, the Friday. It, Jenny saying, is it a terrible cop out to join a sew along just to watch? I don't think I work quickly enough. No, not at all and we also we record the sew alongs as long as it's okay with everybody on the day mm -hmm. to uh which then will be as a link for five days yeah so you can join in watch along and then you'll get the link to make it afterwards if you want yeah so that's uh, so you can always catch up with that and you can make notes if you watch it but, but yeah, all, Jilly, all levels lovely. join in jilly we have we have in one class beginners to advanced mm -hmm. so you don't need to worry about being too slow because no. It's just nice to be there sewing together. It with, is. And so having a little is. chats now and again. Yeah, we have lots of chats about fabrics and patterns, like we do when we're in the sewing room. And then we run out of time. <laughs> yeah, this week as well, with um, Sue's daughter, who's starting her pamper business, her online um, lovely beauty kits, and Suzanne's daughter's doing um, children, children's clothes. Was it children's clothes? No, yeah. craft so, kits. Craft kits, that's right, craft kits. So, yeah, we always have lots of chats as well. So after the um, kimono jacket, the Friday after that, I'm going to do Friday morning, we're going to do zips, three types of zips. So we'll do a centered zip, a concealed zip, and a, a trouser zip. 
So those sort of ones you can um, sew along with me or you can make notes. I Joe's do. saying it's great fun and it's inspiring. Fun, we always have fun, don't we Joe? <laughs> uh, and oh yeah, Catherine said she found that it really helped sew the silk. To go back when you wanted to wider straps. straps. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, because um, there's we all, I always give out lots of information and sometimes although I sort of try and get one together for certain parts of the sew along, you might miss something. So I'm always happy to, obviously in the sew along, go over things as many times as possible, like we do here. Um, but uh, yeah, the recording for a few days afterwards helps you just make sure you haven't missed anything. Um, <laughs> Suzanne was the buttonhole measure and elastic. Yeah, give me an e email with the details, Suzanne, and I'll, I'll add that to your order, and then you'll, they can all go together. So that's on the, so the zips we're doing on the 19th. And then we're doing the Mrs. Maven dress, the uh, French dart dress, which is exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe a twirl, so I know that fits. No, you won't be put in the naughty corner, Jilly. We have, um, we've had on quite a few, almost every sew along, there's mm. been at least one person that's not making or just watching along. Yeah, or um, has to go off and do homeschooling. To, yeah. Or, through. <laughs> yeah. or cook the dinner. <laughs> so you won't be the only one. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not in the naughty corner, Jilly, at all. Um, so after the French dart dress, which is a is that a one day? That's a one, one day, isn't it? Day. That's a one day. Uh, on the Friday after that, we're doing um, the importance of pressing, all about pressing. As you know, um, I'm talking about pressing for hours, so you have to listen to me go on, I'm afraid, on that one. But you do also get um, a kit of with all the pressing cloths, which I talk about, and uh, then we go through how to use the, all these different pressing cloths. So you get that as part of that course, the pressing course, so that's quite a good one. Uh, what else we got? Oh, the Mila dress. We had that on the stand last week, the style art pattern for the Mila dress. This has been a very popular one. And then from the 5th of uh, March, into March already, from the 5th of March, for four Friday mornings, I'm going to talk about couture sewing. Um, so if you book onto that, uh, you get a little kit. Yeah, Janet signed up for the um, pressing one today, didn't you, Janet? So I'll send that out today. I love the pressing one. Every yeah. time I'm in the room during a pressing talk, I learn something, something again new. and again and again, yeah. So from the 5th of March, for the following four Fridays, we're going to talk about couture. I've got my couture jacket here, just as inspiration. Um, but when you book onto that, you get a, you'll get a kit that has uh, lots of bits of fabric, some linton, silk organza, silk lining, all the different interfacings and stabilizers you would use in couture sewing. So each week we will cover a little bit of a, um, a technique that you would find inside the um, Chanel, Chanel jacket basically so oh yeah Suzanne so you've signed up for that yeah, one yeah Suzanne's got that one so your kit will come out today actually with your um, binding and things as well so uh, any, any other bits and pieces you want so yeah you get a kit with all the bits and pieces in it and every week we'll do a little um, sample um, from stabilising the front quilt, uh, how to do quilting different um, stabilisers used for the hems and we'll do buttons, buttonholes. Catherine's saying me too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's going to be a really lovely one each week. We'll do some couture sewing. I always find bits and pieces to talk about that anyway, but you will get a kit with that one as well. Um, oh, Sally's saying that Bonhams are doing an auction of 200 Chanel garments. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at that one then, Sally. Must have to have a look at that one. I always look at the, um, I got my Chanel jacket, which I'll probably get out, I'll probably get that out for the uh, couture class to show you. We need to bring it back into a live again, actually, because that was one of our first it lives was, last March. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. So we'll bring it out to show bring all the people out. that are new to us. Yeah, I've got, I have got a, um, a Chanel suit, um, which I, I normally bring out for the couture workshops. Um, so yeah that's a really nice one I will get that out for the uh, Friday mornings when we're doing couture and we'll look at the details on the couture jacket we'll look at the ones I've done on my my version and then we'll practice some samples as well so we'll get to do lots of nice bits and that might inspire you to make a whole jacket but it's nice to do samples first and you can make a I'll show you my book that I have of couture samples oh Jo says she's going to as well oh lovely <laughs> you'll enjoy it so there's there's machine sewing lots of hand sewing uh, and it's nice slow sewing yeah, so we'll have, uh, we love a bit of couture sewing. We do. Um, so after that, obviously that'll be the, fri the four Fridays in March, we'll be doing that. Um, and then we're doing two days making the Ulysses jacket from um, Victory Pattern. So that's a good one. This is the one that Amy and I have both bought some nice tents or twill to make that. Spark the boat. Isn't that Kate? 
Sparkly. Yes, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. How are you? I always have to try and work out who people are based on, on their Instagram. Instagram names. It is. Uh, oh. Kate is asking, are the workshops held on Zoom? Yes, they are, Kate. Yeah. They are. Yes, the sew alongs are all on Zoom, so you can join in. It's really good fun. It'll be so lovely to have you on a sew along, Kate. it would be lovely to see you. It would be. Kate, I know you're doing lots of knitting, aren't you, Kate? I've seen you all been following you on Instagram. I'm excited about the Ulysses jacket. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, the first two sew alongs we did, um, Kate, were um, most atelier ones. Actually, we did uh, we did the big easy top and the wide leg trousers, and now we're sort of moving through the different pattern companies as we come back to most atelier. If we're in lockdown much longer, we'll be doing some more atelier. Ones. So that's the Ulysses. What we're doing after Ulysses, we're doing oh, we start off doing an evening class, four evenings to make a shirt dress, or you could make a shirt. This is a great pattern. I love this one. This is a um, cause pattern. It's got um, French seams. Front and back. Um, sorry, princess seams on the front and back. So you, we can do those as French seams. I always like doing French seams on a shirt. So this is a good a good uh, way to practice your French seams, but also it's got a yoke and a collar, collar stand, all those great techniques that I can give you some tips on as well. So uh, this work, this sew along includes the pattern, so we'll all be working from the same pattern, which is really helpful. I'm also doing, um, on the 17th of March, uh, a classic skirt. And this is one, actually I've got, some skirts over there I was going to show you but um, this is one that I do a lot a classic skirt um, and this this pattern is great because you, you can um, make this a classic straight skirt you know the um, the pink one or the tweed one there we go this is my <laughs> what? handy here okay so this is one of my um, classic skirts uh, and it's just a great way to learn lots of techniques get a real um, basic skirt pattern that's going to fit you it's got a facing uh, it's got an invisible zip in the back and a split. You can make it any length you like. Uh, and if you want to turn it from a straight skirt into an A-line skirt, I can show you how to do that using this pattern. So that's a one-day class. Again, you can make it lined or unlined, but lots of things I can show you when you're making just a classic straight skirt. That's a nice one. That's made in a one of those cashmere walls from Mr. Rosenberg. I think. So I'll just stick that over there for now. So that's a one day class. There's one that I teach in the sewing room quite a lot at, um, here. But uh, oh, Hi Barbara, I'll Barbara's here on Facebook and Wendy hey, Williams Barbara. is here on Instagram. Hi, hi Wendy. Wendy. Oh we miss you Wendy. Are you still getting lots of cuddles from your lovely grandson? Nice to see you. Uh, what fabric should we use for the skirt, Suzanne's asking. Oh well, asking. you have a choice there, so, Susan, Suzanne. It depends on what um, what time of year you want to wear it? I mean, you could use, you could make it from a wool, a linen, a heavy cotton, a denim, um, anything really. Um, so, uh, something that's not too drapey. Um, I'm going to make a short one, but in a check tweed. Yeah, there you go, in a tweed. Um, yeah, a wool. People have made it in linton, all sorts. Of yeah, yeah. In fact, the first class that Madeline came on, she did this. That's that skirt in a linton. I mean, that's a bit more than a day class. But uh, <laughs> I'm Wendy's still giving lots of tips. When you're saying, yes, I am, going back to Facebook. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop onto Facebook. So that's the, yeah, the classic skirt. And I, I, I know that it doesn't look much on the, on the pattern there, but it's a real classic straight skirt pattern with a facing. And I like a skirt with a facing, I have to say, because you know, it, can, it can sort of rise up or down, depending on how much hob, how many hobnobs you've eaten. Too many this week. Too many hobnobs this week. We have an addiction, ladies. Yeah, it's Amy's fault. She turned up with a... Amy did the online shop the other week and slipped a packet of chocolate hobnobs into Well, it. you put two in the order this week. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah. it they sell on Sunday brunch? King of the tin. King of the tin, yeah, chocolate definitely hobnob. our king of the tin. Do you watch Sunday brunch? We love this Sunday brunch. Um, they do cocktails as well, don't they, as well, so yeah, on Sunday brunch. Yeah, you could use your linton, Suzanne. I think it'd be good to make it from something uh, a bit simpler, first of all, to get a really good fit so you're really happy with it, and then you've got your pattern that you can use for all fabrics. Oh, yes, because linton you'd need to underline, you wouldn't need, you? Yeah, so it would seat. Yeah, yeah. We should go off the sugar, Suzanne's saying. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Catherine's saying it's oh. a lovely pattern and accommodated a huge tummy. <laughs> it just goes, it just sits a bit higher, doesn't it, when you're feeling when your tummy's a bit bigger? I like that's what I like about it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, moving on. We'll, we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of next. the next yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the next pattern. So the one after the after that one, after the shirt dress, we are doing the after skirt. The skirt. Uh, so then we're doing this pattern. I'm excited about this one because I wanted to do a pair of trousers, but it's difficult to do proper fitting on trousers. Um for um, uh, on, on a sew along, so we thought this was quite a good one. It's the paper cut 
pattern, the palisade pants. The picture's small. Do you want to hand it to me and I'll yeah, do a little Yeah, and you can zoom. turn it around and show the drawing because you can't really see. Because it's really interesting on the... It's got a really interesting pocket. It's got no side pocket. seams. It's got a like a seam see. down the front and a, side, a seam down the back. And pockets on the side seam. Um, flat at the front but elastic in the back. So we should be able to do some um, nice fitting on that. And you could make it a short or as trousers. I think that would be a really useful pattern. I'm right. excited about that one. Excited. I'll probably do a twirl of that this weekend just so I can really um, make, make sure it's a good fit to give you lots of tips on that. So paper cut patterns, the palisade pants, and the last one that we're going to be doing for now is another evening, uh, another day class rather, sorry, a two day class to make the Nina Lee um, Mayfair dress. This is a great pattern. It's such a, it's a, it's a for stretch fabrics, for jersey fabrics, really flattering. Can you see that one? Okay, do you want to bring that one in? And, Let me bring um, it in because I don't think the back um, of the neck is really lovely. Yeah, it's got a lovely, uh, it sits up a little bit at the back of the neck and then it sort of drapes down the front here. Bit of elastic in the waist. I've been wanting to make this for ages. Yeah, Jamie um, made two of these on a sewing school a, bit, a little while ago, which made me really want to do it as a class. So we're going to do it as a sew along, and that will be two days. You can make it in any length. I also really like Nina Lee patterns, yeah. and her sizing is excellent. Doesn't her finished do... garment measurement is perfect. Isn't her cup size a C cup? Yeah, well, she's slightly yeah. heavier busted, mm. so yeah. all of her patterns are really good if you have a slightly fuller bust. Um, How much fabric for the long dress? For the long dress for this one, for the uh, Mayfair for the dress. Mayfair. Uh, for the maxi dress with, it says, 3.7 metres. Oh, 150, so 2.8 metres. Is that with long sleeves? That's with, it doesn't say. Please show the pattern again. These are based on long sleeve version, yeah. 2.8 metres for the long sleeved maxi dress. That's the pattern there. So it's got this really nice high neck at the back, I think yeah. it's really oh, cool. Oh, Carol's made it. Have you, did you like it, Carol? It's such a lovely dress, isn't it? I made her other dress, the Q dress, and I, it's my go-to now. I love it so much. What was much. the other one you made? You made I made the South Bank South sweater. South Bank sweater. Yeah. yeah, I really like And her instructions are very good. Yeah, they are good, actually. A little bit wordy, but they're good. Yeah, so we'll have, I think we'll have fun making that one. Mm. So that'll be, that'll be a really good one. It's nice. Always good to have a stretchy time. dress. It's like a Nina Lee pattern, except they do stick the top of the pattern. They stick them down, so you have to tear it a bit to get it open, which is a bit annoying. Uh, Carol says it. she'd say it comes up a tad small. Oh, okay. Thanks, Carol. Could also depend on the stretchiness on the of your fabric, fabric, couldn't it? It yeah. does, yeah. yeah. Look at the nice instruction books that come with it. So, I've not done a Nina Lee dress before. Amy's done a few Nina Lee dresses, mm -hmm. but um, I just love... I've worked with Jay... I've, I've taught this dress in a... Um, few classes other people have made it in the classes and it, it looks really lovely so excited about that one Kathy hello Kathy she's new to hello, finding Kathy. us where will I find details on signing up so the website is Claire with an I dash Tyler dot com I'll put it in the comments for you the comments. So, um, what yeah, sort of I'm, weight fabric for Nina Lee and stretch Suzanne's saying um for for this one, I think like a cotton jersey would be really good, or a viscose jersey, so nothing too heavy, because then you'll get those drapes nicely over the front. It would be lovely. Um, yeah. Does it say well, how much stretch on here? 25% crossway stretch, there you go. So if you've got one of those little rulers, we talked about those rulers the other week, um, you can, actually you can, you can download the stretch rulers. But it needs at least 25% stretch. Um, Suzanne. Um, Susan said she made the Nina Lee PJ shorts. Oh, the PJ patterns are really nice, actually. actually I really want to try it because similar, they're quite interesting. Yeah. It's got this sort of scalloped edge. I think um, uh, Sally uh, Sally Camps made the uh, the um, Nina Lee ones because we made the closet core ones. We made the cowboy yeah. pajamas. And just bought the Pietra pants pattern when you bought the Mila. Oh, the Pietra pants by Closet Core, they're good as well, yeah. Oh yes, I the one we're doing is palisade. We're doing the palisade one by paper cut because we like the shape of the pockets on these. So you're welcome, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. Lovely to have you Welcome to the group, yeah, Kathy. Welcome to our, our little Friday catch-ups. Um, yeah, so we've got loads planned. Look at all this. Look Very at all this exciting. we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. And there's a few more that we're going to drop in as well. There which... is a little jacket that I want to do. The um, Janica jacket by um, Lisa and Co. Should probably be uh, when I haven't worked out whether it's going to be an evening or day yet. Oh, you're having trouble with the internet this afternoon, Bob, and that's annoying. Aww. Hopefully, you can watch us on catch up if you can't yes. stay with us. How did you get time. on with your cardigan, Barbara? Barbara was on the cardigan so along as well this week. So, so yeah, that's what we've got um, this week, all things um, coming up. So, have a look at the website and do join us if you can. It's always lovely to have you here. 
I'm going to do a little demo now while we keep chatting. And this week I thought I'd go a little bit back to basics uh, and we'll have a look at some uh, things like stay stitching and under stitching. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get that really neat and why they're so important. Oh, oh Suzanne has the pattern oh. and the fabric for the Janica jacket. Good pattern, isn't it? The other one we're thinking of doing is the So Different Top. The Sicilian one of the, Top. Wasn't the it? Sicilian Top from the Gambit collection, which Must we be... think we can do in an evening because it looks quite simple. Neela sizing generous. Um, it is a little bit generous actually, Susan, the Neela dress. I um, But I, what I normally do is I'll show you how to do a fitting before we stitch that front seam. Um, you might say that if you go between sizes, it's tricky because it's got side seams on the top and a front and back seam on the on the skirt. So I have to hold it because the stand's a bit, it's a bit. The phones are too heavy for the stand. So if I let oh. it go, it just goes okay. like that. I'm going to put my tea down. Okay, okay looking so. at your chest. At least I've got my low cut top on. I had the other day. Oh yeah. So oh yeah, Barbara loves a so different pattern, don't you, Barbara? You've made a few of those. We haven't done one yet. So bye, Karen. Do get in touch. So if you want to chat about your coat, Karen, as well. Right, so when you're doing a bodice or a skirt or anything that's got a curved neckline like this, um, whether your pattern suggests it or not, I would suggest stay stitching. So stay stitching, let me take my pattern piece off here. Stay stitching is a line of stitching which is just inside the seam allowance which will stop your um, neckline from gaping. When you cut a neckline like this, a round neckline, uh, part of it's on the bias grain, so it, it could stretch out with all the work you're going to do with it and that would mean your neckline would, would flop forward. So when you've got a curve like this, I would suggest stay stitching. I also do this uh, at the waistline of skirts, things like the skirt that we're going to be making on the sew along, this sort of skirt here, I've got a picture at the back of it, um, which has got a facing. Stay stitching will stop it stretching. So stay stitching should be done just inside your seam allowance and I've seen a few people do stay stitching right on the edge of their fabric well that's not going to stop your actual neckline from stretching it needs to be just inside your seam allowance so if your seam allowance is five eighths or one and a half centimeters you want to go just slightly to the left of that so that you're inside it sorry start to the right of it so you're just inside it. On my sewing machine, I've got a, a little mark for the 5 8 and a mark for the 3 8 and there's a little mark in between. And that's where I line up my fabric when I'm doing my stay stitching. So I'm just gonna stitch around the neck. Now, when you're stitching around a curve, you've also, the whole point of your stay stitching is to not stretch out your neckline. So you don't want to be pulling it too tight when you're going around the curve. Just ease it around. And if you, need, if you feel like it's going off, just stop with the needle down and just straighten it out a little bit so that you can keep it on, on side. Now, when you've got a woven fabric like this, I go all the way round. But if you've got a loose weave fabric, I'm just going to finish this and I'll show you. If you've got a loose weave fabric, you want to stitch in the same direction. So I'm just going to continue round this neckline and then I'll show you what I mean. I'm going just slightly off here. I'm stitching from a funny angle, which doesn't help. Does it? There we go. So if you're stitching, um, so I've gone all the way round on this one. If you've got a fabric that's a looser width, this is a calico, so I don't worry too much. But on a, um, a different fabric, on a, a looser weave fabric, I would suggest stitching from the edge in this way and then from the edge in this way, so that you're stitching in the same direction. So stay stitching just inside your seam allowance. So I'm also going to um, put a little facing onto this just to give you a few tips on facings. So this is my facing pattern piece. When I'm cutting out my facing, something small like this, I do what I call block interfacing. You've probably heard of block interfacing. And that's where you cut out a rectangle of fabric and a rectangle of interfacing and you interface your fabric before you cut out your piece. When you're trying to cut out a small piece like this from fabric and then interfacing, it's really difficult to get them both the same. So I interface my fabric first, fold that over and then cut it out. And then that's nice and interfaced and you haven't got to worry about it moving. So that's a really, you have to remember to do it though. It's one of those things, it's never, it's never um, 
shown in patterns. So. I, I forgot last week in my, on my silk top. Yeah, particularly when you're working with something like silk. Any small bits like this, um, then interface the fabric first and then cut it out. And then that's all ready interfaced. There we go. And I use um, a lightweight woven interfacing. This is a, I was, if you're using interfacing, try and use a good quality interfacing. This is the, it's made by Vaseline and it's a fusible cotton. Comes in lightweight and medium weight, but I use this, um, the lightweight most of the time actually. Uh, and it's, the thing to remember with uh, the woven interfacing is that you do need to cut them out on grain. So like when you're cutting out your fabric. So that's my um, facing all cut out and already interfaced. So it's sorted there. And I would neaten this bottom edge. You could neaten it on the overlocker. You could neaten it with a bit of Hong Kong binding. You could just turn it over and stitch it. But just for today, I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't want to delay Amy's cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities and all. So on this just sewing stitch line. This on. <laughs> <laughs> when you're stitching, at, um, when you're putting your facings onto this sort of neckline, stitch it from the side with the stay stitching because then you can see your stitching. Um, so you know exactly where you're going and you, you don't want your stay stitching to show. So obviously if you've been careful with your stay stitching, it shouldn't do anyway, but just as a secondary precaution, stitch from the side with the stay stitching and then you won't risk um, your stay stitching showing. And I'm pinning, as you can see, parallel to the edge of my fabric. Um, I always like to pin this way. Uh, people who come to my class have heard me say this before. Um, I use my pinning like tacking. So I'm pinning more or less where I'm going to be stitching. So one and a half centimeters or five eighths from the edge. Uh, and then it's all being held together. The fabric's not gonna move. Just stop the needle down and then you can take the pins out. So I'm just gonna stitch this facing on so I can talk to you a little bit about clipping and then under stitching. Oh, hi, Julia. Julia's just joined us. Oh hi Julia, nice to see you. I'm just doing a I'm just doing a few hints on necklines and uh, stay stitching, under stitching, all that sort of thing. So now my um, stitching on the neck, and I'm going just next to my stay stitching. So now I'm on my work by five eighths or one and a half centimeter seam allowance, stitching next to my stay stitching. Neckline won't be stretching out of shape. You shouldn't get any gaping necklines. All the way around. I did um, a feature for this, the current Makes Atelier magazine about sort of going back to basics, and it's got all these instructions in there as well. So there we go, there you can see my seam is all stitched. Um, next thing you would do is layer your seam and that's where you trim one of the seam allowances slightly shorter than the other and it just means that you're not going to get a ridge. If I just turn this facing through, um, you risk getting a bit of a ridge here with all the layers of fabric. So if you make one of them slightly shorter than the other, then it will be a bit flatter. So trim the side with the interfacing on to about half. all the way around oh julie's apologizing for being late <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be apologized apologize, julia, julia. <laughs> so that's my seam layered so you can see there that the um interfacing is cut shorter than the main fabric and then i'm going to do some clipping and when i do clipping on a neckline i will do them probably about two or three centimeters apart, just through one layer, and then again through the other layer. So you're staggering your snips. And don't worry if at this point you cut through your stay stitching. Joe's asking, is it the side against the garment that you keep wider? Yes, it is. So the side that's gonna be, so when I turn this through, the side that's nearest the garment is, needs to be the longest one. And then the interfacing one is the one behind it. So the other one. So trim the facing. Yeah, always basically. trim the interfacing. Uh, Helen is asking for the kimono jacket. Do we need a special top stitch needle? If you're using top stitch thread, yes. 
but you don't have to use top stitch thread, no, do you? No, you can use any thread. It's a decorative stitch, so you don't have to use top stitch thread. You could use a normal thread. But if you're using a top stitch thread, I would suggest getting a top stitch needle. It's got a slightly bigger eye, Helen, so it's easier to thread. Uh, and also it means that um, the uh, stitch doesn't get squished by the needle. So now I can press this to the inside and it's going to look really, it's going to look neat, but there's one more thing you can do to make it look really neat. Oh, hold on, my iron's got stuck on my skirt. <laughs> I'm just going to press this. I'm just going to give it a light press to start off with and then I'm going to press it properly after I've done the understitching. So give it a little press and press it so that the seam is slightly to the inside so that you're not going to see the... So the, the garment side would be standing proud? Yeah, yeah. So when you're looking at it from the wrong side you can just see a little bit of the, the garment there. So it's already sitting quite nicely but to make sure that it stays in place you need to do a line of understitching. So understitching is where you stitch the seam allowances of your uh, garment there to the facing and you need to stitch a, about a couple of millimetres away from the seam and you can do that by eye but I like to use a ditch foot. If you've got a ditch foot for your machine this is really helpful. I always say that the best way to stitch a straight line is not to look at the needle so anything you can use as a guide is really helpful. So I, I love the ditch foot, you've probably seen me use this before. Um, so if you put the ditch foot on, the, the guide on the ditch foot is in the middle here and that's right in front of the needle when your needle's in the middle. But if you have a, a machine where you can move your needle left and right, then we can do lots of different things with it. So we can, we can adjust the, where, the, where you're actually stitching. Uh, Helen's saying, do you sell that? Yes, Helen, we sell uh, top stitch needles and top stitch thread. We and do. Barbara's saying, what's the name of the linen from Bloomsbury for the kimono jacket? It's, it's Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca linen. Rebecca linen. So if I put the guide there in the ditch of the seam, at the moment the needle is right behind that guide. But if I move the needle over, I'll move it over to about six and just test that. Yeah, move it over to position six. So now the guide of the foot is in the ditch, but I'm stitching a couple of millimetres to the right. So it just means that you can just keep the, just you're looking at the guide. So make sure that all your seam allowances are going are underneath your facing there. So you're stitching the seam allowances. You're welcome, Barbara. To the facing. <laughs> it's good. We can always help with all sorts of things, can't we, on a Friday? Oh, yeah. Oops. Victoria's actually upped her linen game recently, so there are a lot more linens that would work as well on there. She's yeah. got some linen. There's one called Rami that would work well. There's some linen mixes that would also work nicely. Yeah, that nice coarse linen. I love the Rebecca linen. I've got yeah, that Rebecca's good. Things. And it comes in so many colours. It's really good. Cool. There we go. So I'm just using, I've got the guide, the guide of the foot is in the seam and I'm stitching just to the right of it. So if I take that off, you can see, so there's the seam and then there's the stitching. And it's nice and even and it will help to keep the facing to the inside. So again, under stitching sometimes is not shown on patterns. But if you're doing a facing like this, I would definitely suggest... Especially independents, they rarely put these exactly. techniques in. Yeah, they don't. I mean, part of the, um... They put them on the big four, don't they? Often yeah, a Vogue pattern will tell you to do it. They but... do. Uh, sometimes uh, some of the independents will try and give these techniques a different name. Uh, I think it's Stylark who say, open up the facing and stitch flat. Or what, <laughs> they, what they're saying is understitch. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of working out what they're saying. So that's the wrong side with your nice... Neat neckline that's not stretched at all, understitched, and from the right side, apart from my green lines that I drew, um, you've got a nice neat neckline. So there you go, and that would uh, that would stay nice and neat as well. So there you go, a few tips, a few basic tips to uh, take forward into your projects. And once you do these, these sort of basic things just become second nature after a while. Sue's saying, it's scary or witless that this is basic. <laughs> I Aww. have so much to learn. <laughs> uh, and Jilly says, do you think one of the linen mixes might be better than the cheesecloth? 
I was looking at. What, for the kimono? I was looking for, for a kimono. Yeah, I think so. I think so. cheesecloth might be too If you're going to be top fine. stitching, I would say linen would be better than cheesecloth. I mean, it would work. It would yeah, be lovely. it would work, but it would, the, the um, top stitching would be a bit more um, erratic. Sue, if you're worried, Sue's saying she's scared, this is basic. I have an online class called Essential Dressmaking Techniques um, where uh, I show you all of these techniques and I also um, send you um, some pattern pieces actually for this bodice so you can practice on this, uh, on this particular bodice sample. So you can do this, you sign up for Essential Dressmaking Techniques, an online class, I think it's about £25 or something, and then you can practice all these sort of techniques on a sample before you have to do them on your garment. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Just say it's all the difference, all these little things, all the pressing things, you know, pressing, understitching, stay stitching, make all the difference to get. Nice Catherine said that was a super demonstration. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Good, good, good. Sometimes it's good to go back to some of the basic things um, that, you know, that are really helpful and then um, they become second nature. Uh, Claire Moll says, I love a linen mix, can't do the look of pure linen mm -hmm. after. Just one day's wear. Yeah, <laughs> very true, oh, Claire. I love my linen. <laughs> but yeah, it can be very, very yeah, creasy. A viscose can, linen is a good yeah, one. Linen and viscose would work well. If you can get, if you can find linen with lycra, which is very difficult to find, but if you can find a linen with lycra, I also think that's a lovely fabric because it's got the feel of the linen, um, but it has um, the, the little bit of lycra in it or spandex would, um, would certainly have the solid creasing. So there you go. And if you weren't making the kimono, I would suggest underlining linen. That always helps as well. Block interfacing. You could block interface the whole linen. That would stop it creasing. All those sort of things. Always a way. Oh, good. Jo learnt a bit more about stay stitching. That's good. Good, good. good. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Sometimes you, it's in, a, in a pattern it might tell you how to do it, but often it doesn't. So it's good to have a little reminder. So I think what time is it? Oh, we better get in quickly because Janet's <gasps> going to go at four. Uh-oh. <laughs> Amy's going to come in. Um, Amy's going to come in now, so I'm just going to move up a little bit if I can. This way? Is that better? A little bit more, just so that for Instagram purposes. Moving it over for Instagram. Next to my sewing machine, is that okay? Yeah. There we go. So yeah. Amy's going to come in and do a cocktail for us. Hello, everybody. What is Sapporo? Sapporo, is, Sapporo coat is a, it's made by um, Paper Cut Patterns. It's a, it's a really nice coat pattern. Mm. Barbara, it's lovely, actually. I think Sue Cotton made one in a nice... Grey fleecy fabric and Victoria like made one. Yeah, so Victoria made one shape. in cream, um, cream cashmere. Sally Scott made one in Linton, which is really nice. So, uh, oh, yeah. Sue's got to go. Bye, Sue. Bye, Sue. See you again soon, Sue. Thanks for watching. You can always watch the cocktail on catch up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you've been busy this week, Ames, as well. What have I been doing this week? Been doing. I don't know. We've had I a don't know. Week. I can't believe it's Friday. I, I don't know where this week's gone. It's it so quick, feels like we were only here talking to you yesterday. I know. But it was a whole week ago. Uh, Barbara says I saw a linen with Sapporo. Oh, oh. the Japanese linen. So, you know, isn't it a Japanese fabric? Oh, Karen's just finished her Sapporo coat Can in I mohair. Oh, how lovely. There we go. Daffy, need to do. We'll check the website later. Oh. Uh, to be able to have one. Yeah, the New Zealand PM does have well, one. Yeah, she does. It's a great. I think I posted it on either Mid Her Sewers or Claire Shreds the picture of the New Zealand Prime Minister wearing a Sapporo coat. But um, Suzanne wants to do the coachy jacket. Oh yes, yeah, so might do that as we sew along. Somewhere that can tell you how to adjust the pattern for tall people. Oh, I can help you with that, Catherine. Um, uh, mm hmm. Longer shoulders, underarm length. Oh, maybe we'll do that on a sew along. I'll do some basic alterations for lengthening and shortening patterns, all that sort of just adjusting shoulders. We might do that on a on a. Um, I think what Barbara line. is asking, she's not actually asking about the support. No, coat. she's not. She's asking about the Sephora fabric. It's a fa I didn't know there was a fabric called Sephora. I think it's a Japanese cotton. Ah, well, let's but don't hold Barbara. me to that. I might have completely just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to look that up, Barbara. We're I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese. Well. We immediately jumped on Sephora coat, didn't we? Because we knew that. <laughs> Sorry, Barbara. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've, it's, it's disappeared her comment, but I think she said somewhere she saw a fabric that was something... Linen and Sephora. Linen and Sephora. We well, will investigate, Barbara. We will. We'll look into that and come back to you. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on. Well, Suzanne said... What's Suzanne saying? Oh, I've missed Suzanne. It's disappeared already. Suzanne saying she wants to do the coachy. Oh, okay. Yeah. You haven't appeared on my screen yet. No. Oh, such a delay. Such a delay. There I am. Yeah. Okay. 
Anyway, so hey, we've had a busy week. I think we've just organised so long. So organising so long, yeah. trying to email people about retreats. It's been mm -hmm. full on. It the week's has. flown by. Um, I did the cardigan so long. Oh, yes, you did. And the denim jacket, didn't you, as um, well? Love the coordinated black and white look. Oh, yeah. oh very yeah. coordinated. Yeah, very coordinated yes. this week. We are. I've got this is a both pattern, just like a wrap around shirt, a little collar. And then he's got a you've got a boat. This, My, is, a this is a boat well. pattern. I completely forgot to write down the number. Yeah, I'm very sorry. As well. Um but this is a, it's still a current pattern. It's a Vogue shirt and it, on the shirt it also comes with a little top. But mm. it's got this sort of notched it's collar here. Shirt, isn't and it's it? got yeah. a drapey bit and uh I extended my cuff because I wanted to be able to turn it back. Mm. Um and the fabric is from Mood. Uh trips. in New York. Mm. Silk, brush silk. I promise you this is cool Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> Anyway, cracking on. Yeah, today we're going to be doing a lovely cocktail. We're doing a cocktail, which uh, some eagle-eyed people in the already saw the drinks Ladies. trolley because I forgot to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> also behind you. Behind. Oh, behind is black and white as well. Oh, oh yeah, the whole thing. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Wow, well, well, yeah. we did it by accident. We Susan, did. Yes. But, I mean, on purpose. Yeah. Accidentally. <laughs> yeah, I've got to actually, I made my, you'll notice my little cardigan I made in dark grey. That's the last dark fabric I'm going to do on a sew along. It was really difficult, Couldn't wasn't see it? it. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not Mum is now banned from I'm banned dark. from grey. Banned from grey. Her favourite colours. <laughs> also, my denim, denim skirt's really dark as well, isn't it? So, yeah. we've got to do, I'm going to do some nice, lighter colours from the future series. Yeah, look, Joe's saying cocktail, see? Got to get on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ready, ready. Okay. So, we've upped, our, I've upped my game this week because this cocktail is a classic and well done to everybody that did dry january like me yes. and if you were like me you were counting down the days <laughs> towards the end of it i was fine until the last last weekend i was like oh it's only two days no i'm gonna do it so you did. i did do it uh, but it means no, that we, we didn't actually we didn't actually drink till last night did we last night yeah, yeah so. so um yeah we're going extra boozy because we can now yeah um so this uh drink is just booze <laughs> and it is a Negroni. Yay. So um, we've also upped our game with an ice bucket. No more, and scoop. And a scoop, so no more spoon. No handfuls. more using my hands. Yeah. So um, for this cocktail, if anybody has had one, oh, Serona. Ah, the Serona, Serona Viscose Linen. Linen. It might just be the name that she's given it. Barbara, mm. a lot of fabric companies call, so for example, Victoria calls her linen Rebecca Linen. She's sister. named that after her sister, mm -hmm. and a lot of them do that. So it yeah. might just be she's called it Serona Viscose Linen, Viscose linen. Yeah. and it's not actually a co unless it's in the composition. You can check on the mm. fabric details. It might yeah. be a percentage, and if so, then that's in another investigation. Might just be the name though. Might yeah, be the name. Suzanne, shall they, shall they hold <laughs> hold me to that? The no grey, no grey. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah. So we're doing a Negroni. Um, a Negroni is three ingredients, gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth, or Rosso vermouth, uh, which I've got Cinzano, you can use Martini Rosso, or Punta Mez, or there's lots of them. But we've gone for Cinzano. So it's made in a mixing, you mix this drink, so it's made in a mixing jug. So in said mixing jug, you don't want too much ice, because you don't want to dilute it, you just want to chill it. Um, Barbara says you're very knowledgeable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and so I have these new snazzy balls. <laughs> it's all ice. about the balls. It's all about the balls this week. So take your ice balls, <laughs> pop them in. <laughs> I'm just like saying it. Balls. Balls. So uh, pop them in your jug. <laughs> Save some for your glass because you're going to need it. And then it is equal measures, one shot of each alcohol per person. So 25 mils of each. So obviously I'm making two. So I'm doing 50 mils. I love the bottle. This is this is Daffy's gin. This is it? Daffy's gin that I'm using. This is one of my favourite gins. Mainly because the bottle reminds me of my mum. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> or Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> but yeah, I used I to have it. getting that big. I used to have it in the bar that I ran. And it's actually a really nice tasting gin. So you've got a shot of gin. Ooh, ooh. A shot of Campari. And oh, I don't have a pour on that one. Would you mind opening oh. that for me? I've lost a hand. <laughs> okay. Thank you, assistant. I like to be assistant. Yeah. And a shot of Martini Rosso in there as well. And then you are just going to stir. Oh, I'm 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 going to stir.
stir it until the glass becomes cold. cold. Mm. Too, like, like when I say we shake it until the shaker becomes too cold, you stir it until the glass comes cold. Quite a lot of stir. Yeah. It's like um, another good stirrer drink that I like is an old fashioned. Oh, and old fashioned. We haven't done that yet. Ooh. And the idea of the stirring with big ice cubes, one, you're not diluting it too much, but what you're doing is bruising the alcohol. Ooh. You're bruising the liquor to explode all the flavours. So if you just poured it in a glass and drank it, it would never taste as good as if you stirred it for a minute because you need to bruise that booze. I'm liking this. So there we go, that's pretty cold. We're then gonna... You with spoons and everything. And tongs. And I know. Tongs. So then we're gonna take another ball. If I can get it. <laughs> Joe says plenty of alcohol, that's why it's my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to stay here for a while before going home. Yeah, we're gonna have a nice coffee. Uh, take another ball it. into your rocks glass. So we're using rocks glasses this week. Is that just the name of the shape of the glass? Yeah. Exactly. A little short. So they can, you can have the crystal cut ones, we've just got plain ones. And then I've got a strainer on here that you can get all sorts. You can get sieves that fit in the in the jug. I got this on Amazon for like fifteen pounds, and you just pour it over your ball. <laughs> <laughs> the ball ice cube makers you can get on Amazon. They're about eight ninety nine for, and you get a ice cube maker with six. You can make six balls. <laughs> <laughs> How many more times can you say? I balls? know. I feel like a lot. <laughs> and then uh, take an orange. I forgot my peeler today, so this could go terribly wrong. But you're basically yeah, don't cut your finger. I'll try. Not be good you're just going to take a bit of skin. I just like to twist it over and drop it in. You get some of the um, juice out of the skin. Then, you get you? a bit of the zest, yeah, which just gives a really lovely flavour. So just twist it over and drop it in. And there we go. Oh, Negronis. Oh, classic Negroni. Negroni. You've never had one. No, oh, I think you're going to like it. I probably have. Yeah. They're Cheers. very Moorish. Cheers, everybody. Oh, I do like oh, it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I haven't had a Negroni for so long. And that is it's really good. delicious. Lovely. Actually. Yeah, make sure you stir it, though. Mm. You need to feel all nice. the alcohol in your tongue. You know what's really nice? Yeah, what's nice is that, because I'm, I'm not really a gin drink drinker. Well, I, don't, I wasn't, so then started making gin cocktails. <laughs> but, um... You can't, you, you don't necessarily taste the gin, it's just nice. Yeah. I mean, you could use the low alcohol gin if you wanted to not You could, if you didn't want it quite so boozy. Yeah, you've still because got some of that low Campari, alcohol gin. well, Campari's quite high, and so this, <laughs> I mean, this is quite a boozy cocktail, I have to it say. It is, yeah. But, Cheers. Um, cheers, Jan. And so everyone can go away and make a Negroni this weekend. <laughs> and they're usually ingredients that most people have in their cupboard. Most people have got a bottle of Campari. Mm. Most people have got a random bottle of uh, Rosso, <laughs> Rosso <laughs> Vermouth. So, and Jesus everyone's got gin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll go off and get ourselves full ice, ice cube. Yeah. Yeah. That's really pretty, Love my balls. It? And actually, my ball... Keep saying it. <laughs> My ball ice cube maker also came with another ice cube tray that was big square blocks, which I'll show you that's good for other certain other cocktails. Do you have to have a square glass when you've got the square? Yeah. You can put a square in one of these. I need to put a square in one of these. Yeah. Oh, look, Nanny says that looks yeah, delicious. Yeah, Nanny. Cheers, I'll come man. and make you one as soon as we're we can. allowed to. As soon as we're allowed to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's really nice. It's nice. It is quite strong. It is strong, yeah. I've had many a happy evening on a Negroni. Oh, oh. that's Louise. Louise. Oh. Last time I had a Negroni, it was in Nice at oh. Hotel Negroni. Oh, how great. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Good health to you. Good so health, you. Barbara. Nice to see you, Louise. Bye, Janet. Enjoy your wallet making. Yeah, I want to see pictures of that, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> Still leather. Yeah. Like oh, that'd be exciting, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, I haven't done any work in the leather for ages. Yeah, maybe we should. Mm. Yes, we should. So, well, that was that was a really good one. I love all your lovely new cocktails. Yeah, I've got all my nice rose gold cocktails. I realised that why am I making these cocktails with bits and pieces? So mm. I've got all of my nice cocktail gear together now. And my ice bucket. And it's all staying here and staying here. It's going to stay here for now, yeah. Yeah, we didn't think we'd be here as long, I think, when we bought everything. No, exactly. We didn't so think we'd be doing... All I need is an old shaker and a yeah, measure. Yeah, fine. But to do it for a couple of weeks, it'll be fine. What's the Suzanne? Ordered a Sicilian top. And she liked it. Oh, well, that's good then. Ah, well, yeah, hopefully. it does look good, doesn't it? I'm, I'm, yeah, I think I might, we might do that as a sew along. I think we'll just do that as an evening. I don't think it'll take very long to make. We'll it just looks do it very as a, simple. We'll do it as an odd evening that will sew along and make that. 
I like the idea that the Sicilian top is um, on the pattern. It's got a V neck and she's done it in a striped fabric so you get the chevrons into the middle. So. Yeah, that would be cool for pattern matching. I don't know if they could do that on an evening though. What pattern matching? Pattern yeah. yeah. matching a chevron. Yeah. Okay. I'll hold you to that now. <laughs> <laughs> that might be all we do. Why yeah. not finish, finish the top? Why not finish the top, but Just you'll know how to pattern match a chevron. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank With you, Suzanne. Thank yeah. you. I know I've even got speed pourers this week as well. Very organised now. I know, I need some more. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, yeah, don't mess up your ice bucket now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Suzanne. It's been lovely. Thank you, Helen. It's been lovely to see you. It is a lovely cocktail. Yeah, you can go and make one of these now. Yeah, and go and practice all your techniques of stay stitching. Also, if you don't want to go to the supermarket, all ingredients can be purchased on Amazon. We loved it at Amazon. Yeah, I got my Chinsano from Amazon. Mm. Sounds scary with stripes. You don't have to do it with stripes, no. but you know, I just thought it'd be fun to do it with stripes. <laughs> <laughs> you need really wide stripes, though. You don't want to do it on a narrow little. No, that would be a no, nightmare. Not you want big, like. Yeah. Two inch stripes. Yeah, one cool. inch, two inch would be fine. Yeah. Thanks, Julia. Thanks, Thanks Susan. Everybody. Lovely to see you. It's been a really lovely type, um, session today. Great to see you all. Amy's going to move her drink to toilet out way. <laughs> She's being commandeered from this iron stand, which it should be. when we have our steam irons on. No, it's my cocktail trolley. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Claire. See you. Yes. <laughs> Off to do your skirt homework. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Joe. Have a great weekend. Bye, Jilly. <laughs> Karen's off to get some chins on, I know. Good. Yeah, Amazon does have the answer. To, lots of answers for, doesn't it? I know. It does. Yeah, because it makes it so easy to buy everything, doesn't it, Suzanne? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. So Catherine's lunch is overrun. <laughs> Bye, Julia. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks for joining us. Lovely to see everybody today. Lovely have a to great see you. week, everybody. Do lots of sewing. Have a look at the sew alongs. Practice your techniques. And we'll see you all again next week. Bye, Suzanne. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>